Ciao ragazzi in Italy because we are in Monza, Bella Italia. We're back again. We were in Mola already at the last Ilamas route, now we're in Monza. And who doesn't know me? Or like, actually, no one knows it because just my sister knows it. I'm Parmesan, Parmentano, whatever, addicted. I love it. Like, I love it really. But yeah, we are in Monza for the next round of Ilamas and um, it's hot. It's boiling hot here. Um, but it's gonna be a good weekend. We have Thursday and we have like the test day today, like always before Ilamas races. And you know we're gonna do a normal vlog, but to spice it up a little bit, let's say, Jan is gonna, or I'm gonna tell Jan to introduce you two or three people, or like the jobs of those people here in the paddock in our team. Not decided yet who Jan will try to follow around and get some stuff explained, but it's gonna be interesting, so stay tuned. And apart from this, um, I want a podium this weekend, so. said but it's actually well not right so yeah um whatever hello everyone so it's friday we are having fp1 only today uh, so not a lot of driving actually i'm gonna do eight time laps in total i'm gonna start the session and i'm gonna end the session and yeah yesterday you were actually at the driver's briefing for the first time um so yeah as you see it's always in a big room with many people especially here in inamas because we have many drivers and then you always have the team managers coming with and then you're just talking I mean not about the flags or so but you're talking about like where the safety car lines are on track and what's special about the race trucks where you're racing on so um yeah and sometimes there's also discussions coming up but um it was all good yesterday and I'm actually gonna go do data now about yesterday and then we have FP1 later and um yeah I mean it's Monza you know it's always really tight and it's a track with engine but um I think yeah, it's not looking too bad. I'm gonna do poly tomorrow, so um, yeah, I'm gonna get the new set of tires later today. And yeah, hope you're all doing good. Um, and then we're also gonna take some pictures later for the SOP stuff. And um, yeah, we're gonna put them in here now. So enjoy. <laughs> Sophia sent me to learn a little bit about your job, but I guess the tire girl is not the proper job description. So maybe you tell me what is the proper job description for what you do. 
Well, technically, I'm a tyre technician, which means that I look after all the tyres on one of the cars. Um, that means that I get them fitted, get them pressured up, then get them heated, take, get the, help the lads to get them to the car, and then whilst I'm on the car, I take pressures, do any adjustments if necessary, and then when they come off the car, I wash them, um, check the, again, check the pressures when they're cold, so and give the data to the engineers, and then get them changed for some new ones. <laughs> And uh, maybe uh, you can walk us through the process of receiving a new tyre from, in this case, Goodyear to mounting it to the car to get it on track. Yeah, absolutely, no problem at all. So I've got, coincidentally, a couple of sets that need to go up to Goodyear now to go uh, to get some new sets fitted for, to be used in a race. So let's head up there and um, see what the guys are doing. And I'm making this look really easy, but when you've done it about four times a day, <laughs> In this heat, it gets a little bit too much. <laughs> so each tire weighs about 22 kilos. So you're pushing somewhere in the region of 90 kilos on here. So it probably, like I say, it doesn't look a lot, <laughs> but after about the fifth or sixth time during the day, it <laughs> does get a bit too much. So here we are at Goodyear. These guys um, come to every race with us. We deal with exactly the same people, so it's all about building up relationships with people, just in case you really need a massive favour from them, because your engineer's screwed you. <laughs> so what we're going to do is just find out where we need to drop these and then get them checked in and go and pick up some that I took up earlier. And that is... So I fill in a little piece of paper that tells um, Goodyear exactly what I want fitting and then they do some more paper <laughs> for me to sign and a receipt for us as well to say that we've received, we're receiving the tyres and then we head off. Thank you. Yeah. So the guys aren't busy so they've just put them straight on the fitting line and I am going to go and collect the ones that I had took up earlier. I'm working on car 47 this weekend, um, so these are our tyres that I brought up earlier. As you can see, every single car has an area within the, um, within the space and you leave what you need fitting or if you've got some saved tyres that you want to hang on to, you can leave them here as well. Right, let's head back to the garage and get these sorted. Because it's so hot outside, we're just keeping the tyres inside the garage makes a little bit of a difference because um, the easy up is black it attracts the heat raises the temperature a few degrees it's not really good for the tires so yeah keep them in here and hopefully they'll be in the best condition fresh it up in the morning which is generally the best time to do it because the air temperature is lowest the um, core temperature of the tire is low and generally that's a better thing you want it as low as possible when you're setting the the, the cold pressures so did these this morning and now I'm just going to wrap them up in blankets. This is something that literally every tyre technician does differently. Everyone's got their own little ways of doing things. Um, I can explain mine because I think they make a lot of sense. So I will what I always do, I like to have the valve in the same place every time because when your engineer is being awkward and they want a pressure adjustment before they go on the car, you get quite short notice, so you have to do it in a big panic. And also they get really, I'm not, not kidding, they get really hot. <laughs> so place it in the middle and then wrap it up like right, so. Even down to daft little things like how we tie the tie, how you tie the strings. I like to keep them out of the way because it looks neater and they've got lots of old school XF1 people who have got all these little things that they used to do 20 years ago in F1 with the tyre blankets. I pick what I like from what they tell me and do it with mine. Now, with the LMP2 tyres, what we also use is a rim heater, which helps get the, the rim up to temperature because these all look after the tyre surface and the air inside and this helps Effectively, what it does is, it's, it's like having hot brakes. So it heats the, the rim, which helps keep the, 
temperature inside the tire more consistent. So we put that inside. Again, my own little way of doing things, I like to put them in exactly the same way because when you put them down, I'll show you here, I can just tell just by looking at it whether I've plugged, these have got the tire blankets plugged in ready to go for the next session, but I still have a few minutes before I need to plug them heaters in. So I can tell just by looking at that, that that's, that's not been done and I need to remember to do that when my engineers told me to. So they're all controlled by these control boxes here. Um, those allow us to set the temperature for each corner of the tire to accuracy of one degree. So the engineers aren't that particular, but it really helps versus an oven where you've got a lot less control over exactly what's going on with the, the temperature of the tire. There you're, just, you're really just controlling the air that's inside the oven itself. These allow you to be much more specific. So if you wanted to, you could set the right front to be hotter than the left front or vice versa. But we tend to go just for a front and rear difference, which keeps it simple. <laughs> so, all right, we'll carry on doing this. And see you later. Saturday now and yesterday we had FP1 which was going like long long distance like for the long runs we actually really um, really good also today in FP1 this morning it's looking really strong and then you know I'm gonna do poly later so um, yeah I kind of squared the front left tire this morning on the new tire set so it's really difficult to say I just know it's gonna be really tight like really tight in poly later so I hope the luck is on our side and I hope that everything goes as planned so I mean a top 6 finish would be really good to quality but um, yeah I'm gonna try and then we'll see where we end up um, but for sure our long pace is long run pace is really strong so I'm gonna have lunch now and then um, yeah have quality later for 10 minutes and uh, we're just gonna do one set which is gonna be three time laps um, it's gonna be super hot so yeah maybe we could do a cool down or a prep lap we'll see um, yeah just cross your fingers it's going to be good. yesterday it was tight really tight as I said um, it was fucking tight um, we are p14 which is so not cool but in the end I if I would have been two tenths quicker I would have been already p9 and if I would have been three and a half tenths quicker I would have been four <laughs> so that's kind of how you know how tight it was um, but yeah super annoyed about starting position to be honest but um, yeah the others put, took two sets so they went out warmed the brakes came in put new set and we just did one set on four laps or five time laps so that's probably the difference um, but yeah I mean in the end you know quality isn't any important here we have four hours coming up and it's gonna take the start then I'm gonna jump in um, it's kind of seven stints it's gonna be super hot and yeah more about race strategy later because it's not 100% decided yet and we'll probably also change during the race but um, yeah the goal is for sure top five if possible our podium but we need luck and it needs to work out all good because our pit box is also the position is not so good because we have LMP2 in front and LMP2 behind so it's kind of tricky but we will make the best out of it.
a scale from 1 to 10, how hot is it right now? So we are, it's, it's 11 o'clock now and it's boiling hot. I think we have over 30 degrees already. We have 32. 32 degrees, nice. And we're standing here right in the sun on a tarmac. Nice, it's not hot in a fiber room. Suit with fiber of underwear on underneath, but yeah, um, it's gonna be 37 degrees. So, 30 minutes to go, and then the start. Ben is taking it for double stunt, and then I'm in for double stunt, and I will see. It always changes, you know, with full casinos and stuff, but um, we're not gonna triple the tires probably because it's too hot for this, and we're not gaining anything. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be good. I need a So I'm back home again, um, Monza was a really, let's say, yeah, unlucky weekend, I mean, we had the pace the whole week, we were really strong, especially on long runs, the race was also going really good, Ben did a really good job on the start and the first laps, and we actually were running P4 already, but then we just, yeah, went on a little bit different strategy compared to the others, um, also due to our pit position, um, and then we just got really screwed with Fuko's yellows again. So um, yeah, the moment I went out, it got Fuko's yellow. So yeah, we boxed right before and then everyone was able to box during Fuko's yellow. So that actually in endurance racing makes you lose a lot of time. Um, and yeah, this was kind of the race done for us. Um, kind of finished P10 in the end, which was just, of course it's one point, but still it's annoying knowing that we were actually going for a podium easily so um yeah summer break now um hope you liked that video i hope you liked the part with maria she's really really cool and i have huge respect for what she's doing um next one is barcelona end of august i'm gonna go on holidays and obviously train and do some sims so yeah give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching and see you next time again